What's up everybody, it's Sean here, back with another reaction video, and today we're going to be checking out this new track from Chelsea Grin called Forever Bloom. So it's actually been quite a while since I've listened to Chelsea Grin. Fun fact, I used to work for a music magazine, and when they were on, I don't know if they're still with Artery Recordings or Razor and Tie, whichever one of those. I don't know if they're still with those, but I used to get promo CDs. So like I would get the album early so that I could write music reviews. I remember about 10 years ago, they sent me a Chelsea Grin album to do a review on. So, you know, it's been a little while since I listened to them. So I know they have a different vocalist now than the last time I listened to them. So it's going to be interesting. Don't know a whole lot about this track. This is the first time I'm hearing it. So we're just going to jump right in and check this out. Okay, here we go. Like I said, this is Forever Bloom by Chelsea Grin. Okay, well that's, that sounds like clown music. That's a lot of Mountain Dew, my guy. Okay. Are they playing D and D or something? Nice, nice. Lego loss. Hmm. I like that guitar tone. Bowl of Cheetos there. Look how chunky that is. Hmm. Too much, too much Mountain Dew. Could have the Doritos too. He was dipping his Oreo in Mountain Dew. Potion. <laughs> Taking the knee. It's a short song. I like that though. Yeah. I like that uh that fill there at the end. Alright guys, so that was Chelsea Grin and the song was Forever Bloom. You can see on the title there it's got Trevor from the Black Dahlia murder. I'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce his last name. I would just I would just butcher it so uh, I'm not going to do that. So Trevor passed away earlier this year. I think it was around May sometime. But a uh, super sad deal. But yeah, he was the vocalist for the Black Dahlia murder. Like I said, a super sad deal. And so I'm guessing this was kind of like a, you know, like a tribute to him. And it says featuring him. And if any of you guys know more detail about that, maybe uh, he recorded the, the feature part before he passed away. I don't know. Like I said, I'm... I'm not real, I'm not like a regular Chelsea Grin fan. I've listened to their stuff from time to time, but I've never never been able to get into them a whole lot. But I actually really dug this track. Um, it was it had like good mixes of everything, and I don't mean the mix like as in the audio mix itself. 
I mean kind of the the mix of different elements. You've obviously got the deathcore element, but they did some interesting things rather than just doing like solid blast beats for a whole song, which a lot of, you know, deathcore and death metal bands are kind of known for doing. They didn't do that. They mixed it up a little bit and threw in some variations on the drums. And that always holds my interest better. And this, I'm going to be real with you guys as a drummer myself. I used to play metal. Um, I haven't been, I haven't played drums in a metal band in a long time. But for me, it's like, being really fast doesn't impress me. A lot of guys are out there just blasting away, doing, you know, super fast stuff the whole song. And yeah, it's fast, but I mean, give me some technicality. I'd rather have a drummer that can't play as fast, but can play lots of technical stuff. For instance, my a couple of my favorite drummers um, are Matt Halpern, Matt Garska, um, those guys that can play really technical stuff. They can still play heavy and they can play fast, but it's really technical. Another couple of drummers that I really like are Travis Orban and uh, Josh Manuel. Those guys just, just kill it and I'm always impressed and I find myself being you know drawn in by what they play. I say all that to say I really appreciate what this guy, what their drummer did in this. And I'm not familiar enough with this band either to be you know, to know all the guys' names. But yeah, just wanted to give props to the drummer because he kept my interest the whole song. I know the song was less than three minutes, but you know, <laughs> I have a little bit of ADHD, so sometimes I get distracted and my interest becomes lost. Other things uh, I wanted to talk about, um, vocals. I like the vocals and there's been kind of a, it's been kind of a circus as far as you know the vocals for Chelsea Grin and over the past few years I've lost track of who even is the vocalist now so you know all y'all out there don't don't at me because I'm not not familiar <laughs> uh, I'm trying here I'm trying I wanted to also talk about the video itself because I knew as soon as they opened the trunk and brought out like 20 bottles of Mountain Dew that it was going to be a trip you know they were able to you know make a a light-hearted video for their heavy heavy song i love bands that do that that can you know have fun and like make fun of themselves and my band we've always done that we make fun of ourselves all the time and um you know like we butter the bread with butter has really funny videos like that and electric cowboy they kind of do that kind of stuff and i i really appreciate that i never expected chelsea grin and here's the problem i'm gonna go on another soapbox here here's the problem with a lot of deathcore is they take themselves way too seriously and that loses me you know like when bands take themselves way too seriously it's an immediate turn off for me as far as a listener this this really held my interest i appreciated the the humor throughout the video and uh, I liked that they did some nerdy stuff because I'm a, I'm a nerd myself. Yeah, all in all, I definitely enjoyed the track. And uh, you know what? I'm going to actually look up some more of their more recent stuff now. Um, now that I've heard this track and enjoyed it. Who knows? Maybe they'll grow on me some more. Anyway, I appreciate you guys sticking around to the end of this video. Please leave a like and hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed to my channel. Also, if you have any recommendations for other recent songs... Um, I like to do songs with videos, either a music video or a lyric video or something like that. If there are any recent tracks that have come out that have a video I can react to, definitely let me know in the comments. I'm trying to do some more of these and the weekend is here and I've got some more time. So I'd like to knock out a few of these videos over the weekend. So if you have any suggestions, definitely let me know. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a good day, a good week, wherever you are. Good weekend, whatever it is. But until next time. Deuces.